YouTube, what's good, man? And today we're on Life of Luxury channel. They did drop a video titled His Imaginary Friend Came to Life at Night. See, that's why it's not good to have imaginary friends. It might be some demons and they might come alive and haunt you. So let's go ahead and jump into this video. Oh, no, bro. Is everybody going crazy? Oh. Oh, what? Why do you look like that, bro? To deal with the trauma from his brother passing. Bro, what is he doing? I just threw up in his face. That is disgusting. The camera was. It doesn't want us here. That's Daddy Longneck right there. Look at him. Oh, he's banging his head on the. All I see is a boy who lost his brother. Oh. And no one else seems to care. I'm gonna lie, he is a little too violent. Now he's eating the. Bro, he ate the man's alive. Holy crap. He's gone. I think something happened to him. Yeah, freaking Billy Bob ate him. Oh. Wait, they can't see him though. Are you okay? Oh, heck no, bro. Come on. Someone get the crucifix, the holy water. Barbara is done, bro. Just ran out the house. Oh. I guess he's a little hungry. Hello, Lux Army. Thank you so much for 7.5 million hey. subs. We appreciate you guys so much. You're the reason we make these videos. Let's try to hit 8 million subs next. And let's smash 100,000 likes up, for man. the next episode to be released. So for this episode, we received an email from a mother named Barbara who Bar -bar recently lost one of her sons in a fire. Barbara says that Damn. ever since then, her other son, That's tragic. Caleb, has become mentally unstable. After losing his brother, her son Caleb became so lonely that he lonely. created an imaginary friend. He's Since creating lonely. this imaginary friend, his personality completely changed. Caleb, Dang. who was always peaceful, has started fighting with his friends with his and became violent and aggressive. Caleb has also started to collect his mother's undergarments and has started cutting off pieces of the girl's hair from school and that's collected. weird bro. she thinks his imaginary friend told him to do this she's worried that her son is losing his mind and sent oh. us this video he's definitely proof. lost his mind already yo who are you talking to bro Oh, he just got possessed. Now, Barbara wants us to help talk some sense into her son before he hurts someone or himself. So tonight, we're going to head out to their house. Let's go. Dang, man. I don't know, man. What we just seen, that dude looked like he was already crazy. Like he's oh, already we lost. We getting involved it. with these people. We don't know how to deal with this. Deal with what? Her son losing his mind. Listen, her son isn't losing his mind. He created an imaginary friend to deal with the trauma from his brother passing. It's called a coping mechanism. And that what do you true. know about that? Just because somebody sent you an email asking for help doesn't make you a psychologist. And why are you dressed like that? <laughs> Let's just keep driving. <laughs> why do you hate you, bro? Like, you know? At the end of the day, they got to deal with it no matter what. They always put this out through these situations, so they should be ready for it. Damn, where are they driving? Your destination is on the right. All right, I think this is a place. Let's go inside. He looks not worried. Okay. Eleven oh one outside the house. Oh my god. Hi. 
Are you Barbara? Yes, I am. Hi. We're here to help you with your son, Caleb. Will on. you people be able to fix my She's son? She's a little weird. Well, we can certainly try. Bro, what's with okay. her face? I'll take it to him. Why is she going, keep going like... Alright, come on. Oh, he needs some milk! <laughs> Is awful lonely here at night. Bro, she is creepy. What? Why is she even smiling? This is his room, but I need to warn you. Ever since his brother died, he hasn't been the same. There's something really wrong with him. Listen, there's no need to worry. I know how to deal with trauma like this. Just let me try to talk to him. He is a professional. Okay. Good luck. Come on. Okay. Yeah, totally not weird, huh? Bro, be careful. It's fine. He controls me alone. Yeah, it's definitely not fine. Hey, buddy. How are you? Bro, I think there's something wrong with him. Yeah, yeah there's say. something wrong. He's been through a terrible tragedy recently. No, I mean, something else. The problem is, he feels like he's alone right now. And he doesn't have anyone to talk to. You see this? I'm eye level with him to show we're equal. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh. oh, that is disgusting, man. I would have just left the house. I told you, something isn't right with him. Yeah, I'd be sick too if my brother died. Oh. Listen, we got a little something. Myself off. Then let's set up some cameras. <laughs> what? How is he gonna act like that? It's totally normal, and like he doesn't have all that throw up on his face. Okay, uh, let's set up some cameras in this house. All right. I don't know, man. Parker is just okay. he's different, bro. But Chester's on a different level. <laughs> Wait, bro. What? One of our cameras already spawned something. Look. Oh. What is that? I think it's just a glitch or something. <laughs> that is not no glitch. That's not a glitch. Dude, something's there. All right, let's go check it out. Bro! <laughs> I like how he seemed all calm after seeing that crazy thing out there. There's a camera in here. Come on. Gotta stay calm and connected, man. I think it was over there. Trap door. What's in there? Bro. Why are you going in there, bro? Oh, he actually went in? No way. Didn't even notice. Oh. oh no. 
Oh. <laughs> nah, bro. There's nothing here. Oh, he's gonna crack him in the head. Maybe? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Oh, that was very close. Dude! Why would you knock that over? I didn't! Something pushed it on me! There's something in here with us! Look, there's nothing in here. I just checked. Let's just go talk to Barbara now. So I guess since he's only an imaginary friend, you can't visibly see him, but... You can see him through the cameras. The cameras pick him up. Apparently. Bro, oh, why she always got her mouth open? Nah, she is sus, uh, bro. I hope everything's okay. Barb sus. Did you talk to my son? Uh, yeah, we did. Lady, your son needs some milk. Him? Listen, Caleb is a normal boy. He's not broken. He's, He's just not been through normal, a devastating bro. experience. If you want him to get better, you're gonna need to try to understand that. It's just sometimes I think we lost Caleb a long time. Ago. You're right. Okay, well, we set up cameras all over your house and in Caleb's room so we can see how he's behaving at night. You're not gonna leave me alone, are you? I thought you could help keep my bed warm tonight. Hey, yo. Old lady wants some action, bro. Um, we're just gonna stay in your spare bedroom tonight. Why is she caressing That's the bed okay. like that, man? <laughs> oh, was all her underwear on the floor? What? Alright, I guess this is our room. I think that's the real trap behind all this. Okay, take the bed on the right, and take the one on the left. Um, okay. That was a little too specific. I don't know why. That was weird. Oh, dude, no way. What? The bed's completely soiled. Are you serious? Yeah, it's covered in piss. Oh. Like, it looks so bad. Like, oh my god. Damn, we're gonna have to sleep in the same bed. I'm not going to share Barbara's this behind us. with you. Bro, I'm telling you. There's something else in this house with us. Is that seriously what you're worried about? Dude. Caleb is beyond traumatized, and his mom doesn't seem to be taking this seriously. Why would you want to stay here after he squirted that liquid all over your face? <laughs> this is squirt. He threw up, bro. Come Between on. Between you and Barbara, I feel like I'm the only rational adult here. All I see is a boy who that lost his brother, neck. and no one else seems to care. Bro, whatever that thing we saw in the camera was, it doesn't want us here. We already checked, and there was nothing there. And we're not leaving without observing her son's behavior at night. Let's just go to sleep. I don't know, bro. I'm telling oh, you. Dude! The first day that guy would throw up on my face, I would have left. <laughs> Ain't no way they both fit on that bed. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> they literally shoulder to shoulder. Okay, we go to sleep. Who is he? Oh. She goes with her mouth open again, bro. Oh, no. That's all you gotta show me to tell you that this kid ain't right. She's a monster's gonna attack her. Hello, little friend. You look like somebody's grandpa. Oh, he wants him to do something.
Demon. Leave Caleb alone, Demon. Bro, just swing at him, bro. Oh. How does that knock the demon? The demon get not knocked out, bro. Oh, it's consuming him. Uh, go, Chester. Go be the hero. Bro, wake up. Is that Caleb? Nah, bro. <laughs> Oh, he swallowed him whole, dude. What? Bro, let's go. Okay. How is that even possible? This one's over here. Okay. Yeah, y'all too late, bro. Caleb is already in the large intestine. There's nothing in here. Where did the boy go? Mm -hmm. Ew. I know that thing stinks, bro. It looks so nasty. Parker, what is it? Hurt. Oh, is he gonna be down there? Bro, he's gone. What I a think genius. Something happened to him. Bro, Chester, you need to hit the gym, okay? Chester. What was it? What? Oh, he's gonna get parking now. What is it? What? Let me turn on night vision. Oh, I wonder if that'll work. Do you see anything? Look! What? I can't oh, see it. Oh, heck no. Nah. It's looking through. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Bro. I think it's full demonic mode right now. Oh, it's going to Barbara's room. <laughs> Oh, is he gonna eat her? Oh! Wait, why she got heels on? She was sleeping. This is the first time I actually see them run out the house. Dude, what was that thing? I couldn't even see it. I don't know, but I think it took Barbara. Who the hell is Barbara? Let's just go to her car. Okay. <laughs> right here, legit said who the hell is Barbara. Like they didn't meet her the first day they got there. Since filming, we haven't heard from Barbara or her son. 
Whatever that thing was, we don't not think it was imaginary. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Or a friend. He was more like a fiend instead of Thank a friend. Thank you guys for watching this video. Let's try to smash 100,000 likes for the next episode to be released. All right, that was insane. R.I.P. to Barbara, R.I.P. to uh, her son. I forgot his name already, Caleb. And yeah, shout out to uh, Chester and Parker for running out of that house. Thank y'all for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.